Hello friends, Metapod here, and today we are playing Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia. I said it right the first time for once. And uh, yeah, there's a new event going on. It is uh, the new Lost Chapters um, featuring Ultimacia, which I do not have um, because I was not around for her. And uh, so this will be some new stuff to me. But featured character includes Pain, and I love Pain. So I think I'm going to try to pull a little bit to see if I can get anything of hers. I only have enough for two pulls because I'm saving for a uh, Yang Yang event, um, which is coming very soon and uh, just uh, several days from now, I think. Um, but if I think what I will do is I will pull a bit here and then uh, I will spend my time finishing up other lost chapters and story stuff tomorrow to get more gems for pulls. But let's see what we can get on our first two draws. All right, here we go. We got gun. Oh crap, I pressed the button. Well, that wasn't exciting. What is this? Squall thingy. 15 CP. Man, this is overall like a really bad draw. Look at this. Okay, let's try it once more. This time I won't tap the screen so we can make it more exciting. We got stick. We got bandana. We got... Oh, they're going too fast. I can't say the names of things. Gauntlets and stuff and robes and a... Sh what is that? A shield? A breastplate? I don't know. There's a shuriken. Four stars. A racket. And an ultimicia thingy. It's 35 CP. Let's go ahead and draw one more. I'll definitely get enough gems by the time uh, Yen comes out anyway, so we'll draw once more, see if we can get anything pain related. Shuriken, sword, gauntlet, shuriken of different type, um, armor, helmet, same helmet twice in a row, bracelet thing, armor four stars, it's four star stick. And another 35 CP Ultimisia. Wow! Talk about some crap draws. I am sad. Well, let's go check out the new quests. We got... What do we got? Uh, Lost Chapters? Connecting. This game seems to be having like really slow connecting times and stuff recently for me. It's just this game. Other games are completely fine. Um, I've been getting disconnects and stuff in this game too, so I don't know what's going on. Unexpected allies. Depending on your. Pr I know. Adorable blackened wills. I don't even know what that means. Oyamenasai. I don't like Ultimacia's like weird face tattoos or whatever it is. Leon's in this game? I had no idea Leon was in this game. Soda. 
Wow. Oh my gosh, it's a Magistech armor. A monster. It sounds like robot. Man, I hope we get the rest of the Final Fantasy 2 cast. I want Joseph. I want Joseph so bad. He's like the Yang prototype. <laughs> So she's trying to manipulate them. Makes a little more sense than Garland. Garland's thing made no sense at all. Okay, y'all ready for some purgatory? And some load times. Okay, I wanna save my uh, helpers for when we really need them. So we're not gonna take any helpers now. Look at the Katobo pass, it's funny looking. I wonder if there's been Bandersnatch in this game. I heard you like load screens. Helpless before solitude. What does that mean? The battle is won. So she's... Yeah, it is a trap. She's not... You don't understand anything. Whatever. 
I'm Squall. So they're just using each other. She's trying to bend their wills to uh, manipulate them. And they're just going to use her, I guess, <laughs> to assist in battles. Purgatory time. We're connecting time. Well, I wonder if this banner is going to overlap with the Yang banner, because then I can, if I get all the Yang stuff that I need, I can use my leftover stuff for this banner to try and get pain stuff. Yeah, my connection times have just been so slow in this game. Makes me not really want to play it. I've just been doing my like daily token foray thing. Because it's annoying sitting waiting on the load things. And this isn't a game you can just like auto in the background and just tap now and then. You have to like kind of constantly watch over it and constantly tap things. And you know, you have to be paying attention to play this game. You know, it's not like some other mobile games. Like, Reuniverse, you know, when I'm grinding in that game, I can just let the battles go and then every now and then check over and see if a battle's done and click rematch. Um, because the you have two different types of auto battle in that. You have normal auto where they just use their basic attacks and then you have like power auto where they use their most powerful attacks. Um you can turn on power auto and if it's a simple fight at least you can get through it with power auto most of the time there's a lot of stuff that you really need to control yourself because the game is pretty difficult and strategic at the higher levels but you know if you're just farming on a lower level thing to get some items or trying to get some drop or if you're just farming, like, uh, you know, grinding out levels in a certain area or something like that, you know, you can just turn it on the auto battle, the power auto battle, and you can just sit there and let it go, and you only have to check in every, like, couple minutes when they finish the battle and then just click rematch. That's all you gotta do. With this game, you're constantly, like, choosing things, and then if you don't, if you want to auto-battle, you have to be doing something really weak, because the auto-battle just does brave attack over and over and over, and then, like, sometimes we'll use HP attack. I don't even understand how the AI works, because, like, they never want to use HP attack unless they're, like, brave is full. And, uh... Yeah, that doesn't really work on any of the things you actually need to grind on. 
you know, that works on like, you know, maybe these, I could clear these with auto battle, but that's just gonna make it really slow because the auto battle is really slow. And I'd rather just purgatory and defeat them in one turn per wave <laughs> rather than sit and let the auto battle take forever. Though auto battle would go fast in this because they'd just use HP attack. Um, because they have so much brave already that they can just defeat the enemies, but it still would take a lot longer than Purgatory. And even then, if you were wanting to, whoa, affect. Even then, if you were wanting to, uh, get through this really fast and you were auto-battling, You'd still have to, like, go through each battle, then click where you want to go on the map, and then click next. And, you know, you have to do all this stuff. You know, you can't just click... Oh, we're supposed to have Ultimisha in the party. Well, poop. I forgot. I usually, when I'm doing Lost Chapters, I throw the other character in as soon as I get them, but I kind of forgot with this one. But yeah, so you have to pick... Tap on the map where you want to go. Click next. You know, click on what helper character you want to have. Click next again. Like, there's just so much, like, clicking and active paying attention for something that's mindless. As using Purgatory three times in a row. There's just so much, like, that you have to pay attention to. It's kind of obnoxious. You have to click begin, and then you have to choose your buddy. Then you have to click begin again. And then you have to begin, and then you have to click purgatory every turn. Or you have to click auto. And then you let it finish, and then you have to click next. And the, it's just so much tapping. And so you can't really just let this game rest and then, you know, tap now and then to let it continue. You have to, like, pay attention. So when it has all these loading things in it, then it's even worse because you're just sitting here staring at the screen. Knowing you're not going to do anything mindful. You're just going to click Purgatory. You're just going to click Next. You're just going to click Begin twice. You know, you know you're not going to be doing anything, like, engaging or interesting. But you have to sit there and stare at the screen. And so when there's all these extra load times, you're just staring at loading, staring at loading, staring at loading. You know, and then staring at the game doing things slowly while you click Purgatory. <laughs> you know, at least the actual battles go by pretty fast, but there's all this menuing in between. And just adding these extra connecting and load times just... Whoo... So, with all the, like, long load times I've been having lately, I've been really not playing this game. Um, like I said, I just do my daily token foray, and then I quit playing. <laughs> and uh, when my friend wants to co-op with me, we'll do some co-op, and then we're done. But uh, the worst loading seemed to be in the beginning. Uh, getting into the game took forever before I started recording this. And then there seemed to be a little bit of long loads, but they seem to be kind of calmed down now. They're pretty standard sized loads, <laughs> but um, they're still frequent enough that it's still pretty annoying. Because you gotta connect and load like before and after every battle. You get these little load screens. See, that was kind of long. 
for a game where you're hardly doing anything, that's a lot of time to be sitting and staring at one screen that's, you know, not interesting in any way. It was a foot. See, then it has to load the friend list. Now it has to load the battle. There's just so many opportunities for it to load. And each one, if you're getting long load times, it's just... That's the sound of load frustration. <laughs> and then it's longer when you're laughing and not looking at the screen and not clicking purgatory. Up. But I think what this game really needs is a high power auto where they'll use their best skills, you know, or just use their skills instead of just brave and HP attack. She saved me from my own solitude. You and I are different, clown. Also, is she like really good or whatever? 
This is dumb. <laughs> I mean, I guess they gotta make excuses for the villains to be on your team so they can be playable characters, but... See, all that loading for the friend list. Micro choose. I think we need those for the uh, August, late August panel board thing. So I'll try to remember an easy place to get them is right after the middle story thing. Which is to the left of it. To the left, to the left. All the micro chews in the stage to the left. Even to get past the like you win screen, you're to press next like so many times. Loading the friends list seems to take the longest time. I think because it's connecting to the server, and then it's getting uh, the data from the server, then it's organizing it into a list and everything. You know, it's... Connecting to the server multiple times to get, uh, like, a lot of different information. It's not just, like, checking in to make sure, like, you're playing the game properly or whatever. You know, it's not just like a quick little ping to say, oh, we started stage or whatever. You know, it has to actually get all the information. And Though I really don't think it should take that much longer. <laughs> it really should take like maybe a second, not even a second longer, but it seems to take several seconds.
see all that loading for picking up treasure chests. Like, I understand why it's connecting to the server. Like, I don't think that it shouldn't connect to the server. It's just, why does it take so long? <laughs> you know, and it's just this game, so it has to be something to do with this game's server. You know, it's faster for me to get into Final Fantasy XIV than it is to pick up a treasure chest in this game. <laughs> See, what was it even doing there before it started saying connecting, was it? What was it doing? Like, was it connecting? Was it... What? Like, was that just peeing the server? Like... <laughs> like, what was it doing?
It's only like 30 damage at a time. another scene. True loneliness. Was a person named Sink and she just called herself Sinky and then referred to her brain as her noodle? Four. Yeah, I guess that makes sense that if you created a world where only you existed, you wouldn't be lonely because there would be no one to long for. <laughs> Though I think that your memories of the world with people in it would still have something to long for in them, so I think you'd still be lonely. But I guess if time was compressed and, like, you didn't have any memories because there was no past, 
<laughs> then I guess, I guess that would work. If there's no past and no future, you can't really feel anything, I guess. Then are you even really existing at that point? Oh, I was expecting Aaron to go, so I was trying to tap Purgatory. We wasted a Crystal Idol. I think we'll be okay, though. Full of dreams.
Oh my gosh, he's so dumb. I hate Cypher, Cypher, whatever his name is. Check on our missions because we should have gotten uh, some little things for clearing this. Of course, it has to load forever. That's it. We'll get more when we do it on hard. But uh, I think for now I am going to go because I am tired of the loading and just tired in general. So I'm going to go to bed and upload this along with three Pokemon videos. So I will see you guys all around. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.